This video documents a dock repair. It starts out by having the dock plate already removed. The concrete under the slab is being demolished because this building was never intended to have a dock in this spot. The building owners at one time had cut an opening in the wall and then made it a dock. What they found over time as it broke down is this slab is over the fill and then down the vertical side is just two inches of concrete. So that concrete is being demolished so that this area of the slab can be reinforced. Once the demolition is complete, rebar is being used to reinforce the future pour. The process of installing the rebar in the concrete is drilling holes in it, and then the rebar is slid into that. The work being done here is cutting off the overhang or the tails of the rebar, because the final dimension of the pour will terminate somewhere near the end of these rebar tails. The plywood here being used is to create a form. The plywood is going to be used to create an edge that when the mortar, the repair mortar is poured in, is going to hold it in place until it hardens. Being that the repair mortar is more along the lines of a self-leveler in terms of viscosity, the edge of the form is caulked. The repair mortar that's being used is made for many different purposes. This is a high PSI repair mortar. This is not just a regular self-leveling underlayment. It's a product that when cured will reach a compressive strength that's going to be equal to the concrete. As the cavity is filled up, some air is going to be trapped. For that reason, a vibrator is being used, which is going to help to burp that air that's been trapped inside that pore so that there's no voids. With the form filled, it's then just a matter of topping off the sill and then finishing it smooth. With the form removed and the product cured, it's then going to be coated with an epoxy. Though the majority of this repair is going to be covered by a dock plate, epoxy is being applied to protect the surface. And that's about it. A dock plate that was crumbling and cracking that's been demolished reinforced, replaced, and ready for service.